Hello, my name is Brenda Mullen from AHDB Serials and Oilsoids. Today I'm going to give a brief update on the latest DEFRA UK Serials Supply and Demand Estimates, which were released last week. So as we all know, we're just about to end the 2016-17 crop marketing season, and so markets are very much focused on the upcoming harvest and what this means for supplies of wheat for the crop year ahead. Information we're eager, eagerly awaiting is confirmation of the final planted area, as well as validation of yields coming off the fields. In a few weeks, we'll be providing some more clarity around planted area in the results of our planting and variety survey. Subsequent to this, harvest progress updates will give more insight on yields and resultant availabilities, which will help position the market for likely production scenarios. However, now that the 2016-17 season is almost complete, there are a few matters that need addressing to get an indication of what opening stock levels could be for wheat heading into 17-18. The latest balance sheets provided an indication of full season closing stocks and export forecasts for both wheat and barley for the first time. So one of the key headlines emerging from the latest supply and demand figures was that the UK is forecast to be a net importer of wheat in 2016-17 and enters the new marketing season with a relatively lower level of stocks than we've been used to over the last couple of particularly heavy seasons. On a trade basis, the forecast suggests that the UK will import 1.7 million tonnes and export 1.5 million tonnes meaning that for only the fourth time in the last 25 or so seasons, we'll be a net importer. It's important to note here that there are a number of import figures currently being investigated by the HMRC, including some unusually large tonnages from Romania, and this is also the same for maize. So for that reason, the full season forecasts have taken into account the assumption that the total season wheat import figure could be revised lower. So what does the latest forecasts tell us about how this season looked compared with last year? So you'll see from the waterfall diagrams that the general trends are similar, but owing to lower availabilities year on year, as well as stronger demand, the estimated wheat closing stocks figure is lower than the previous two seasons, and is now assumed to be more in, li to be more in line with the five-year average. Other key headlines emerging from the latest data reveal that barley exports are set to fall by 50% year on year to the lowest level t since 1213. For barley, a drop in available supplies but similar demand levels meant that there was less available to export for the crop. Commercial closing stocks are assumed to be 13% 13, 13 down on the year at 1.2 million tonnes and again this is closer to the previous five year average than we've been used to over the last couple of product high production years. The story for maize and oats was of strong demand. For maize, the bioethanol industry drove a rise in domestic consumption this season, while for oats, the annual steady increase in oat millers demand is assumed to continue. Over the coming weeks, we'll consider what area production and yield scenarios could mean for the weight of the 2017-18 markets domestically as we transition again from one crop year to the next. 